because I don't want the neighbors to get blown. What is up? What is up? What's good, YouTube man? Welcome back to another video. Today I was actually supposed to do the video on the Cutlass on the box that I'm building for the Chevy truck, which is this one right here. This thing right here is about to be... I don't even want to get into it because I even just came up with another idea that I'm going to do in this truck uh, because I like to uh, hold on, let me fix you guys up. You know, I like to have the loud systems, but I, at the end of the day, I like to um, add a little bit of sauce to it, man. You know, like make it look nice at the end of the day. It is about the bass. I am more of a bass guy than a voice guy, but at the same time, man, you need to have some voice uh, so it can match up. So, you know, you can draw, you know, both of the crowds in. Um, so today is Friday. I actually got to cut some hair and it looks like it's gonna start pouring cats and dogs yeah. a little bit But I want to go ahead and make you guys video the videos is a part of my job You know, I, I take YouTube very seriously. So definitely subscribe uh, Hit that like button and drop some comments tomorrow. I was actually supposed to start cutting wood out But you know, I don't even have my phone on me But the radar calls that it's gonna be raining all damn day tomorrow, man. So that's gonna be a out of the question uh, Sunday Man, who knows? It's probably not gonna rain. It probably is. The still costs, I think, for like 70% chance of rain. But we'll see how the the Mother Nature plays. Friday, uh, and you guys are in the surrounding area of like Tampa, you know, St. Pete, Clearwater, whatever. Uh, I will actually be at Bradenton Motorsports, which is the racetrack here in Bradenton, and they are having street heat at night. I think it starts at five o'clock to like 11, you know, something like that. Um, street heat, you know, they have the drag racing. It's a car show and just I mean just a hangout It's like a big old car meet that they're doing right there um, And then you, if you guys know, you know, that's Cletus's uh, track I think if, if I'm correct, I could be wrong, but I know you know, he has that freedom factory right down the road But um, well, I'm gonna be out there tomorrow the trouble is right there and Here let's go actually check the trouble is out there. All right, so for one, let's see if the Trailblazer even starts up. Because the last time I took it out, uh, man, I can't even remember. I think it was like Easter or something. So let's see what it do. Hey, hell yeah. Hear that thing? That thing sounds good, look. Hold on, check out that thing. Smells really good back here too, by the way. Yeah. All right, so hopefully tomorrow it says that it's supposed to be raining, but I'm gonna wake up kind of early. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. We got static. Good God. So definitely, like I said, if you guys are in the area, man, man, pull up to the street heat meet tomorrow, man, out there at uh, Brainton Motorsports. I'm gonna have my truck out there, but real quick. So, you know, I have the 412s in here, but I have it on the TS Power. 5,000 5, watt amp and it's actually probably like at a oh no wait a minute I stepped in the amps oh. okay so the gain is probably like a little bit over half but I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pump it like full max tomorrow just so we can blow these subs out you know it'll be the excuse to uh, put new subs or build a new box. Play some jams real quick and see what it's doing right now. I know we're gonna probably get hit with some copyright, but we'll edit it's, it out. This phone is trying to get internet, man. These phones never get internet. Um, I'm gonna be cutting here. I've, I've been cutting hair pretty much all morning, but I have a friend that's actually gonna come get a haircut here in a little bit. And he actually has a Tahoe with uh, four 12s in it. But I think he has like, I don't know if it's like 8,000 watts or 12,000 watts on it. And I'm going to see if we can get a quick little demo from him or show him what he got, show you guys what he got. Um, it's pretty loud. You know, I haven't personally heard it, but I always see the videos that he posts and it flexes so much stuff. So hopefully we can get a quick demo from him. Okay, let's see what let's see what this one does. Okay. 
Alright, you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm actually going to mess with the settings real quick and see if it can get any louder, but let me not step on these ants. I turned up the bass and the bass boost up a little bit, but we're not going to jam it that hard because if we're going to blow it, we're going to blow it at that show tomorrow and not out here in the front yard. But let's see what it do. You want to know something crazy? So we have these. Uh, all right, that's enough of this because I don't want the neighbors to get blown. I just want to make sure it was playing and everything. So Trailblazers actually just needs a car wash, a good cleaning, and we're ready to rock and roll for tomorrow. Like if you guys don't know, the Trailblazer it has uh, a 412s and a bandpass box, uh, basically the same specs that we are going to do in this guy right here, and the same box that you know I've been designing that you guys been watching on the videos. So pretty much it has the same box design, but those has kicker CVRs on that um, TS Power 5000 watt amp. But that amp is probably only pushing like 1500, not nowhere near 1800 uh, watts. So with that being said, um, that white OBS truck that I did those sundowns in, man, that thing has um, the four sundown E-series subs on that 3000 Terra amp. And listen, that truck right there with those 412s, that is like one nasty ass system. Um, let me fix this for you. That is like one nasty ass system. And like wax my truck, you know what I'm saying? Like there's no comparison. Um, but that, like I said, you know, that dude's actually, you know, he don't really like to turn it up like that loud, man. But I'd be jamming the hell out of it, if you ask me. So um, once we put the 3000 on, or actually I'm gonna put the 4000 in my truck and um, put the same subs in that, those E-Series uh, Sundowns, uh, we're gonna compare them and see how loud it is. But I think my Silverado's gonna be fucking nasty with that Terra Amp and those subs, man, because that thing is gonna be like, shh, ridiculous. Actually one sub that the coil is actually fixing to go out in the Trailblazer. So once that coil goes out, man, I actually have another Kicker CBR sub and I can just replace it. But I'm going to see how I'm feeling and how things are going because I actually want to redo. I really want to paint that truck white and all the interior is like that greenish color and everything. And the hood is like that green color. And I honestly want to do that truck solid white with a flat red matte um, hood with the black rally stripe and do the whole interior red. And so then I would have to redo, obviously, the music in it. And I would actually, man, that thing looks really blurry. And I would actually do... Um, like a uh, the subs facing each other uh, in a little tunnel with a slot port on top just so that truck can just move nothing but air and like we can do hair tricks with that one but the day that i do that i would actually put like way bigger subs so i can at least put like eight thousand watts in it so like that base is like really ridiculous and plus with that box design that i have for 412s uh ported that thing shut down you know a lot of stuff with regular stuff because that box design that I got for the 412s and ported boxes, man, that thing with very low frequencies, like low notes, that thing plays at higher volume than what like higher notes uh, play to get higher numbers. You feel me? So it's actually reversed. So actually the low num the low notes hit higher volume versus high notes that hit lower volume. You see what I'm saying? When I designed that box on that program, man, I designed it that way. So you just pretty much got to play with the air spaces and the port. And you know, then you can get get it to do whatever you want to do. But you know, that that box, whenever I designed it, I wanted to my low notes to hit higher volume. You see what I'm saying? And they're aggressive, man. They're very aggressive. Like that same box designs in that white truck um, that I did. And man, that thing is like aggressive on those low notes. Like very nasty. 
regular music, that thing is like ridiculous. And slow down, slow down music, that's the like, shh, that's the one. So we'll see what happens with time. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut some hair real quick, and then I'm away from my homeboy to get here with his uh, truck. And um, we'll see if he lets us get a little demo real quick, man. So stay tuned, subscribe, and let's see what happens. But don't forget, Street Heat tomorrow night, Saturday, um, from like, I think it's like 5 or 10. The flyer is going to be right here. Um, man, pull up, man. I'm going to be out there getting it, man. You know, let's, let's chill. Let's have some fun. All right. We got a little quick demo from my homeboy's uh, Tahoe. He has four of those Def Bonts, I think that's what they're called. Uh, I think those are like the very first entry level ones. I think he has like 4K uh, watts on it. it. Sounded pretty good, but you can tell like uh, it's power hungry, man. Them subs want more power. Um, you know, he's gonna be out there at that show tomorrow too. So like I said, if you guys are in the surrounding areas, man, pull up. Uh, it's gonna be a good little time. Hopefully it doesn't rain. I just seen that there's a hurricane on the way or a tropical storm. So we'll see how that plays out. It just got done drizzling a little bit. So, um, man, I wish I would have started cutting the wood up, but man, it's been drizzling on and off just because we had that little storm coming in. But that's Florida for you, man. If it ain't an alligator in your front yard, the rain comes and goes. So we'll see what happens, but we'll definitely be out that show tomorrow. Stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. Uh, that video will probably get uploaded uh, man, we'll see how it goes, man, because I, that show starts at 5, and I probably won't leave till like 10, so hopefully I can come home and get that video uploaded by like 11. So we'll see what happens, man, but definitely subscribe to the channel, man, and stay tuned for tomorrow's video, man. Peace.